DJI appears to be moving quite aggressively, with some of the best drones scheduled to be released in 2025. We have already seen a refresh to the best cinema drone, Mavic 4 Pro, coming with lots of significant upgrades over its predecessor. Then there's Flip, which was announced at the start of the year, marking a new era of foldable drones. However, the real game has just begun, and DJI has more innovative drones up its sleeves to come next. Not just drones, but DJI is expected to launch new action cameras as well, which reflects the company's strategy of maintaining dominance through continuous innovation across multiple market segments. So, let's discuss more about the upcoming DJI drones and what new upgrades we will see. We will be starting with the most anticipated drone of the year, the DJI Mini 5 Pro. Jasper Ellens quite recently shared a picture of the DJI Mini 5 Pro being tested on the roads of China. On closer look, the drone does seem to be a lot different from the Mini 4 Pro. The camera also got a lot bigger, which a lot of you had wished for. This could also mean, for the very first time, we would be seeing the 1-inch sensor on the Mini series. Hakashushi also talked about the 1-inch sensor in one of his tweets. If this turns out to be true, then the Mini 5 Pro will have a significant upgrade in image quality and also allow for higher resolution footage. The larger sensor will also allow for more lights, meaning you can shoot noise-free, detailed footage even in low light conditions. The arms also seem to have gotten bigger to support the powerful, vented motors. Apart from that, there aren't many changes to the design. Oh, don't forget about the LiDAR on the front. This is also one of the prominent upgrades for the Mini 5 Pro. Pretty much you can say, DJI has put the Mini 4 Pro on steroids. With a larger camera sensor, powerful motors, and LiDAR for obstacle sensing. Those who have actually flown any drone with LiDAR can relate to how useful it can be in terms of avoiding obstacles. Also, it will help the Mini 5 Pro to track objects or humans more precisely than ever before. Also, the DJI Mini 5 Pro's September launch schedule is confirmed. Previously, it was mentioned by Jasper Ellens via DroneXL, but now it has gained more credibility due to a recent post shared by Hakashuki, who is known to be a reliable drone leaker. According to his post, the Mini 5 Pro is indeed scheduled for September. If things go just as planned, we might see not one but two new drones from DJI in September. DJI's most affordable compact drone is also expected to get a refresh this year. The news came from Jasper Ellens, as he mentioned that both the DJI Mini 5 Pro and Neo 2 are scheduled for release simultaneously. But surely the Neo 2 needs a lot of changes to stay in the game. First of all, the Neo needs a redesign. Those who already have one can agree on how noisy the sound level of Neo can get, and it is by far the most irritating drone from DJI. Even the larger drones like Flip or Mini 4 Pro make less noise compared to the Neo. Rumors are that DJI might entirely redesign the upcoming Neo 2 and move to the unconventional folding design like we have seen on the Flip. This will not only reduce the noise level, but also make the drone significantly compact when folded. Besides, the Neo 2 has great potential to even surpass the Flip in terms of performance. Talking about the lens, the Neo 2 is about to get a noteworthy camera upgrade as well. Currently, the Neo has a half-inch sensor that can shoot 4K videos at 30 FPS. However, the Neo will get a larger sensor, 1 by 1.3 inch equivalent to Flip and Avatar. The bigger sensor will allow the drone to shoot 4K videos at up to 100 frames per second. Also, the field of view is expected to extend from 117 degrees to 155 degrees, so you can capture more of what you see from a bird's view. Besides, a bigger sensor means more light enters through the lens, ensuring more details and less noise even in low light conditions. Moving forward, the Neo has only one axis gimbal mechanism, and the rest are stabilized through EIS. But a drone that is made to cruise through congested areas needs to have better stabilization in order to get stable footage. The EIS is decent on the Neo, but needs improvement. DJI has so many drones to choose from. However, when it comes to FPV at an affordable range, there's only one avatar. The current avatar is great with so many innovative features like turtle mode and all, but is it the best? Not really, as it needs so many changes, and the upcoming Avatar 3 is expected to have a complete overhaul. DJI took around one and a half years before unveiling the successor of the original Avatar, and since we are almost close to that R&D period, 
Drone enthusiasts believe that the Avatar 3 is also on the cards for the 2025 launch schedule. To be more specific, based on multiple rumors, the Avatar 3 is expected to launch at the end of June. Nevertheless, let's talk about our expectations, the upgraded features we would love to see. The first major issue with the Avatar has been its instability while flying. DJI needs to address this issue and make sure that the upcoming Avatar offers a smooth flying experience. Perhaps a redesign could help significantly in ensuring stability and reducing the noise level. The Avatar 2 features a 1x1.7-inch CMOS sensor capable of shooting 4K at 60 FPS. For the next iteration, we are expecting a significant boost in imaging capability by incorporating a larger 1-inch sensor. And a larger sensor means an improved dynamic range, enabling the Avatar 3 to capture more details in highlights and shadows. Now, do you really need a bigger sensor for such a compact drone? Well, to be a prominent player in the FPV community, there's no alternative to offering the absolute best. We have seen the Osmo Pocket 3, offering a bigger 1-inch sensor even with such a compact form factor, and this has been a game-changing upgrade, especially since the low-light footage got significantly better. So, getting a 1-inch sensor with the Avatar 3 will definitely be a great upgrade for cinematographers. Apart from these, the DJI Air 4 is another most anticipated drone and considered the most value for money series. Unfortunately, there isn't much update about the next generation of DJI Air for now, so we are not sure if it's really going to appear I-2025 or not. As we mentioned earlier, DJI has plans to dominate every market segment, and with such a view, DJI is expected to introduce its first ever 360 action camera, the Osmo 360. We now have a closer look at the DJI's new camera, thanks to Igor Bogdanov. Not only from the outside, but also under the hood, along with dozens of pictures from every possible angle. So, is it a good time for DJI to enter the 360 market? Because we have previously seen brands like GoPro failing terribly. Besides, with Insta360 dominating the market entirely, can DJI really pull off something extraordinary to be the market leader? As we mentioned already, Igor Bogdanov was the first to share a detailed view of the DJI Osmo 360. And at first glance, it seems to be sitting right between GoPro Max and Insta360 X series in terms of size comparison. You can see the two cameras, and a display underneath on the front side of the camera. The power button is on the left side, and Hakashuki shared a quick start guide to show how can use this button for multiple purposes. The camera seems to be really compact yet robust enough directly competing with the Insta360 X5. As per the information from Hakashuki, the Osmo 360 will have a bigger main camera sensor of 1x1.3-inch, similar to the Insta360 X5. However, it will not have the 8K shooting capability. Rather, you will be able to shoot 4K videos at max. Let's not forget about the DJI Osmo Action 6, which will also be making its appearance in 2025, along with the 360 camera. So far, there have been only a few leaked images of the Osmo Action 6, but that doesn't give any proper idea about the specs. However, both the Osmo 360 and Osmo Action 6 are expected to launch in August this year, even before GoPro launches its Hero 14 Black. We will be sharing more details about the Osmo Action 6 in a separate video, so make sure to subscribe to our channel if you want to keep updated with all the latest tech news. That's all about the upcoming drones that you can expect from DJI in 2025. It seems DJI is fully committed to bringing innovations to each of its product lineups with maximum efficiency. Which one of these drones are you eagerly waiting for? Throw all your thoughts in the comments, give this video a thumbs up, and subscribe to our channel to keep yourself updated with all the latest tech news.